if during the application, I start asking questions about income or employment or who's on the loan, and they hit me back as like, well, why is this important? Why do you even want to know? Now I'm armed with all the leverage. Well, the reason why I want to know is because I need to get you access to campaign. Like I mentioned at the very beginning, I got to ask you a few basic questions to make sure I could help you. From all of this, it appears that I can help you, right? Truth be told, you have a $40,000 credit card with your house as collateral. It compounds interest and you can't even write that off. Let alone, you're making the minimum payment on $20,000 of additional credit. So overall, you have $60,000 in credit card debt, 40 of it holding your house for collateral, 20 of it not tax deductible, but nonetheless, $60,000 in debt that's weighing your FICO down. This campaign is specific to homeowners who are in your scenario. As a matter of fact, I think you need this more than everyone I've talked to since this campaign launched. You fit the exact criteria of why this campaign was launched. Let me show you what I mean and then go back to the application. You're counseling them, but you're still driving the call. Leverage. And that's why it's helpful. That's why it works this way. That's why we don't ask the borrower after they say hello or when we connect, how are you doing today? Or, hey, what's your goals today? What are you looking to do? Because <laughs> then they would say, oh, well, what I'm looking to do is get this 2.25 on this mailer. How do I get that? Now it just changes the trajectory of your call because you do not have this leverage. Does that make sense? So you need to pay attention to that because that then becomes their why. What I was talking about, the deeper emotional ties, is when we go through the application and we know that they're living check to check and this is staying the same. And then I find out that both are self, or you know, let's say one income in the household, which is one of the most common things, right? There's usually one of the spouses that do not work, but that means they have kids, dependents. And so if I find out that they have a three-year-old, a seven-year-old, a 10-year-old, and a 16 year old and they're living check to check now that's the emotional tie that's where you actually get to peek at the primitive emotion of protecting your own that is something that's hardwired into us as in nature that is instinctual sales remastered